Hey, so we're here with Tesco V, and we're about to take a trip through his legendary toy room. Here's some... Can't go wrong with Satan, kids. <laughs> Don't forget. Sugar Daddy Lucifer is your friend. Just pick this guy up, the devilish man. I'm rather fond of him. Look at that. What's better than a, than a penis that pops up? A naked girl. That is so funny. So when did you start collecting toys? 1988, so it's my 30 year anniversary. Nice. I've amassed at least 10 or 15 of them in that time. <laughs> well, I remember, um, I think it was on the Hate Police album when you actually put on the album if you have collectible toys or anything, did I? contact me. <laughs> That's me, always working it. Cool. I actually got a guy bringing me a whole van full of stuff in Richmond, all of his childhood toys, and somehow we packed them all. This was just like 10 years ago. I <laughs> bought nice. all his toys in the parking lot of the Banditos Burritos. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's what I live for. Cool. Okay, so let's enter the... Enter the 30-year <laughs> explosion of toys. <laughs> like Adam's Family is one of my favorite things. So you've told me that you've actually narrowed it down to a few different yeah, mo categories. Monsters and Robots, sold off all my man from Uncle and Get Smart and sold on some of my Lost in Space stuff. Some of the clock's ticking on some of that 60s stuff, but yeah. some of it I can, can't bear to part with. Because, you know, the things change. 80s toys are all the rage, even though I, they're not my kettle of fish, but they're, they are what they are, and I'll buy them and sell them if I can make a buck on them. But, yeah. But uh, the 50s, 60s, and 70s now, I don't really do 50s anymore, unless it's robots, because oh, that yeah. was the, the golden age of robots with the 50s and 60s. But monster toys and robots are my main focus now. Nice. Monsters, I just picked up this really rare uh, Monsters paint set. Oh, wow. And then this is really rare also. This is the actual uh, Monsters target game. It's like... <laughs> Super rare, I'm afraid. On the closest I'll ever get to the a box. The box is killer for this too. It had a killer window box. Uh, it's just impossibly rare. Nice. Um, so you get what you can get when you can get it. And my motto is uh, sell the common, save your money, and buy the rare. <laughs> cool. Because the rare stuff will always be the hardest stuff to find. And they can reproduce models and stuff, but. The original ones, like over here, we have the sealed Auroras that I got in a trade recently to find them. And it's pretty hard to fake this original Aurora factory seal. It always has this overlap in the back. So, oh, yeah. And the, you, some people like to collect sealed. I don't really collect them sealed per se, but when I can get them, I, I take them. <laughs> so tell people about um, the toy shows you do. I do... Uh, <clears throat> Three different shows that we promote in Michigan. Um, we just did one in Lansing. The first one, it was crazy successful. So we've already sold out uh, the November 11th show in, in Lansing. We also do a show in Ferndale at the Loving Touch, Ferndale, Michigan, which is down by Detroit. And it's just like 20 or 25 dealers, but it's in a bar and it's on a Sunday. We do it once a year and it's just the funnest show that I do. Um, people are drinking. You know, there's dogs, there's weed, there's children. It's Detroit. There's no rules. And we have a DJ that plays killer tunes all day, Venom and and Meat Men. And uh, it's really fun. And then we, we're doing a show in a couple of weeks, April 29th in, in Livonia, which is called the Rock and Roll Toy Show, which we've done a f like four or five of those. Because we try to, not just toys, records, yeah. comics, magazines, posters, Black light posters, I collect those too. Anything pop culture-y. So yeah. that's my next phase, I'm being the show promoter. <laughs> you want a table, you call me. <laughs> and what's your um, your page name for uh, your toy Mo thing? Um, Facebook, it's Motor City Toy Mafia. So you feel free to join us if you're into toys or just want to hear a bunch of grown men calling each other ween bags all day. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. I've met a lot of good good guys on there. I was always kind of in Lansing by myself as far as collecting goes, and 
the good old internet has blown that wide open. I, I buy more stuff off Facebook now than I do off eBay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because it's all, there's no fees. It's, it's, <laughs> it's friend to friend. You know, you know, pay them friends and family. PayPal doesn't get any money. Oh, yeah? And, uh, you know, they don't get charged any fees. That's cool. So it's pretty cool. You pop an item on there and only a thousand people in the in the mafia but we all uh every no no dicks allowed cool no politics <laughs> no fighting don't be a ween bag <laughs> and we let you stay nice so where did the word ween bag come from the origination of the ween bag is I, i'm not sure but I've been using it. I even use it at work. Really? The, the, the girls at work will say, don't be a ween bag to the technician. So it's, it sort of kept caught fire. And I don't want to say I invented it, but and sometimes people will say, what is a ween bag? And it's like, really? You have to ask. You're a ween bag. Nice. Yeah. So like this bona fide rarities. This is a really expensive board game right here and we've got the let me pull these out so you can get a better <laughs> shot of them these are sealed monster pezzes oh wow like you never this guy's not so rare but to find these three guys like this yeah that's why they're in the humidity controlled hermetically <laughs> sealed vault when what year would those be from those are from like 1960 early 60s this is a pretty rare piece too. The jury's been out whether it's fake or real, and I've had a couple experts look at it. It's been reproduced, but this is a real one. Oh wow! It went on the handlebars of it, and they also had the the shrunken head and the wolf man, <laughs> the monster bike body. Nice. Yep. So all this monster stuff is getting to be even more popular as time passes. <laughs> Because it's cool. These squirt guns are super rare. Where else are you going to get a creature from the Black Lagoon <laughs> squirt gun? That's amazing. Yeah. This company from Hong Kong, AHI, they make some very coveted. Those are all AHI figures down there. These are Lincoln monsters that are also, and those are like the Lincoln Hunchback, the Lincoln Frankenstein, and the Lincoln uh, Phantom. Those are all oh, wow. pretty hard to find on the card. Yeah. Jeez. Then you have so, all your oh. weirdos and nutty hats. <laughs> got Hitler. Blowing hey, Mom, can up. I have the Hitler model kit for Christmas? <laughs> the weirdo's helmet. Oh, God. This is a good oh. story. I was buying toys from a guy in the early 2000s, and... I went to his garage and I bought, I filled my van and it was all box stuff. And I said, what I'm really looking for is a box weirdo's helmet. And he said, really? I have that, but I'm not selling it. I said, I'll give you 300 bucks for it. And he said, I'll sell it. <laughs> so then he brought it out. Oh, and there geez. it is. <laughs> We've got to speak cool. up. Do you have anything else? <laughs> Never accept what they have out as all that they have. <laughs> And when you're buying stuff off someone and uh, they might not necessarily know what they have, what do you do? Do you take them for a ride or yeah, do you tell them? A lot of guys do. I won't. I mean, somewhere in that ground where we both feel good. Yeah. If they know nothing, you know, it's, it'd be real easy to rip them off, but I, I just have to sleep at night. Yeah. So I'll say, look, I, I'm a collector. I'll be honest with them. I'm a dealer. This is worth this, and I'm going to give you this. Not like those dicks on the American Pickers. Yeah. Because a lot of times they, I mean, a lot of times they, they overpay for stuff, and other times they grossly rip the people off. Yeah. So you just have to, like, it just have to, whatever you're comfortable with. And karma's a bitch. Yeah. And I want to sleep at night, so. And I'm not going to pay you $1,000 for a $1,000 toy. If I'm going to keep it for my collection, I might give you, I'll give you really good money. If I'm going to flip it, I'll give you 50 cents on the dollar. Yeah. I, I hate with American pickers that they find something that someone doesn't want to sell and they just keep after them, keep yeah. after them, keep after them until they sell it. And they're, then they're like, oh, we can flip this quick for a hundred bucks. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like you just talk someone out out of something that they didn't want to get rid of and, and you're, you're going to make a hundred bucks off of it a lot of that show is staged too is from what i hear yeah 
so like stuff gets sold and then necessarily doesn't necessarily leave with them. Oh like really? Going back in the collection, yeah. Oh, well, that Toy Hunter show was notorious for that. Did you ever see that one? No. Yeah, it was a guy out in New Jersey, and there was all this. I know a guy that was on it, and he said, "Oh yeah, we put some of my good stuff out in boxes in the garage, so he could discover <laughs> it <laughs> and then buy it, and then uh, it's all for the ratings and the cameras, and then yeah." Oh, well. So, I'm just these are, these are really rare here. These are weirdos. People like weirdos, but <laughs> these are the, the plush. Oh, wow. Uh, yes, I have stuffed animals in my collection. <laughs> this is the only one I'm missing, the grave digger. If it was ever made, oh, wow. I need that. <laughs> nice. The drag hag. <laughs> One little boy would want a drag hag. <laughs> so that's why she's so rare. She's got high heels on and everything. Oh, God. Yep. That's hilarious. Here's what we call, uh, we talk about grail, but starting here all the way down, these are all what we call holy grail monster toys. Oh, uh, yeah. Like this, for instance. The first thing the kid did when he got it was he tore the cello off, and as you can see, the cello is is the kill. <laughs> yeah. The cello is the seller. Oh, yeah. So, and then, you know, over here I have a large version of that same target with the cello off. It isn't quite the same. This is another killer piece here. The Horror Scope by MPC. Sealed condition. Nice. These are like popcorn buckets from movie theaters. <laughs> oh, wow. 60s, 70s. But, I mean, how many of those survived? Yeah. Because they got full of greasy popcorn. <laughs> and people and cutting some, holes in the bottoms yeah. of them. <laughs> Put their cocks in there. This is a really creepy toy that didn't sell well. The creepy crawling hand. It's pretty gross. It's got skin, you know, like some kind of rubbery skin. <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah, I love monster stuff. Oh, yeah. This cabinet I got at a thrift shop in Maryland. It's like the original chartreuse green. It's very monstery green. <laughs> so it's perfect for monster toys. Nice. And then we get the, the robots and the space toys. <laughs> it's kind of a hot mess right now, but... I don't have room for everything, as you can see. Yeah. That's the difficult part. <laughs> 1,400 square foot basement that's full. We can't just walk by the, the newest piece. No, we can't. We have to see it go, too. This is a Bergy Beer point of sale store display from the 60s, 50s. <laughs> with a spaceman, the Bergy Beer mascot dude. <laughs> so I got to get a little, it had a little light and a little lens cap on there. I just got this a couple weeks ago, so this is my my latest acquisition, and he sticks. I could fix that. But. <laughs> what is it, Bergy Beer? Bergy Beer. It was where, made by it? Hams. Oh, really? <laughs> so you know it was delicious. <laughs> Since hams is just disgusting, <laughs> but you would drink it. Probably, I've never tried it. <laughs> it's in some markets. It's the new PBR. They sell the big twenties and the in the it's the for the punkers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. So if you were in another part of the country, you'd probably get it. Schlitz and hams are trying to bring them back. All the garbage <laughs> beer. Well, that's why I started drinking PBR, because it was cheap in the fucking punker bars when I'd come on road trips. <laughs> Remember this? You got a little history with yeah. this guy. This is when we first, like, got to be close friends is when yep. Tesco sends me a message saying, hey, could you do me a favor? <laughs> can, you dr can you drive a robot to the border, a $2,000 robot? I'll send you the money. What's What could go wrong? I'll buy you lunch. And <laughs> Well, you wanted me to bring it across the border, but I was hesitant and I know getting seized. That was above. That was I crossed the line, and that was a f dick move. <laughs> asking you to cross the border, I just laid it on the back seat though, and he didn't say anything yeah. when I crossed. So I guess we, when you're old, there are advantages. <laughs> you put on your glasses, and you're like, hey, we just had lunch at the at the burger place in Windsor, <laughs> and they just wave you through. 
Tell him you went to the casino and played bingo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here's my game room, although there's not many games in here anymore because they're all over at my son's house. But oh, wow. have the Sky Raider and the Invaders from Outer Space, which is like a killer game. Let me... Oh. Can I turn it on without destroying anything? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I can't. It's a really fun game, though. <laughs> nice. A big ABBA poster. Cut it up. <laughs> Where I play all my rock and roll records. <laughs> the lurkers and the jams. See, I still listen to this old stuff. It's proof. It's laying out. <laughs> Bl Blowfly, Marty Robbins. You never know what I'll be slapping on. This oh, yeah, so you were on the Blowfly album. I how was, did, and I was also did... on the Dr. Demento covered in punk. <laughs> it just That's came awesome. out. It's got William Shatner, Adam West, and the Meat Men, Joan Jett. So what did you do on that? Uh, we did um, I Like Beans, which was done by Brack on Space Goes Up All Night. <laughs> it's really good. And then we did My Guitar Wants to Kill Your Mama by Zappa. Oh, nice. It's really good. It just came out. So check it out. Cool. It's got Shonen Knife. It's got cool. all sorts of cool stuff on here. <laughs> nice. The Misfits, the Kids of Whitney High, Weird Al Yankovic's on it, The Vandals. Yeah, it's good stuff. We recorded those tracks back in 2014, and it just came out. Oh, my bobblehead collection. Yeah, I was going to say, I've, I've always wondered, did you, do you have anything to do with that company that puts them out? No, but I'm, I know the guy that does it. Because yours was one of the very first ones. Yeah, I was number two. Gigi, isn't that ironic? Gigi was number one, and I was number two. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That's one of the GGs. There's another one back here. There's been three different GGs. Yeah, I got the small, bald one. and Yeah, this um, one's the latest the, one. The, yeah, the 80s one. <laughs> of course, we have... <laughs> Jeff Clayton. The king of the barbed wire club. <laughs> next to Mojo Nixon and Debbie Harry. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> you wish you could get a little of that action, huh? Ooh, I'm going to give him a kiss. <laughs> Got Johnny Winter hiding back there. Got fucking Jay Mascus. Did you see that one? <laughs> look, at the look at the person. hair. Oh, God. <laughs> Next to Dick Manitoba. Did you see the mugshot of Dick Manitoba in court the other day? That wasn't a oh, good... Oh, no, no. Yeah, he shaved off his his uh, goatee for the trial. So, oh, or for the... Why was he in court for? Oh, and just some bullshit with his girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure she was asking for it. <laughs> this is a good one. This is from that movie Black Devil Doll. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's not nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh, and then we also have the... Yeah, I got the blue flag. Yeah, fuck yeah. That was from a different company, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. There are, these are, some of these are different. Most yeah. of them are agronautics, though. Yeah, they, they do some cool shit. That's yeah. For sure. Nice. And some models. Yeah, love the models. Funny cars, dragsters, weird shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, so how'd, how'd you get on the Blowfly fly album? Uh, Tom Bowker was a fan, and he figured... He was trying to me to get me to tour with him and stuff, but it was just like at the time it just wasn't. Yeah, so I was always I've always been a huge fan, so yeah, I jumped at the chance to do those bits. Nice. It's not some of my funniest stuff, but it's still okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let's go back in here. Even me at my less funny is funnier than most people. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sound too arrogant. <laughs> Let's get some more shots of the... This is my favorite stuff, the robot stuff. Fuck yeah. I mean, this is way before my time, but, I mean, the stuff was just so cool. Yeah, man. So delicate. This is a German one called the Ducks Astro Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that antenna is so fragile, it's just like a flick of the finger and it would, it would shatter. Oh, I can imagine. Jeez. And then there's some really good ones, robots up along this top shelf, too. They always have such good color. Yep. This is a neat piece. This is a point of sale sign from the 50s. So you, 
you would go in and you would your parent they want to sell your dad a tv <laughs> so they get the kid hooked by so we'll give you this cool thing if you bring your dad in <laughs> it was pretty brilliant marketing if you oh, think yeah. about it well this how many of these exist yeah not many and then the plastic, the Hong Kong stuff, which is Hong Kong stuff's getting to be pretty popular too. It's so brightly colored and delicate, fragile. <laughs> and then these are on. These are all really good robots up on the top shelf too. The High Bounce Moon Scout and the Colonel Haphazard are brothers from another mother. <laughs> this is one of my favorites here, the Ranger robot. Lecle's all clear. Oops. He's he's uh, plastic oh, wow. and e easily breakable. Jeez, that's awesome. So, what's your favorite stuff out of all this? Is it <laughs> hard if to I say? Had, if I had to pick, I guess I'd have to say monsters. But robots are a close second. And as far as people always ask me, what's your favorite toy? If you had to pick one, to me, this guy. Rocket Man and Space Armor. I mean, <laughs> these to me aren't even like toys. These are like museum pieces. This thing, the chest piece spin around. He lights up the pistons pump. The head, the, the head goes back. And I mean, look at that. Oh, wow. That's like, no child should have been allowed to play with that. <laughs> it just, it seems contrary. Thank God they didn't play with this one. Yeah. That's what you want when you're a collector. You want the toys that never touch the brat's hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they get, you know, you want to, and when you buy, you want to buy from the, the kids that didn't have any siblings. Because <laughs> then nothing got passed down. It got, like that, like the robot you got me. Yeah. She's, the, the story was that the little girl had it around her neck on Christmas morning, so mom put it away. <laughs> and there it's, Jeez. and that's the only reason it survived, yeah. right? Yeah. That's amazing. Yep. Yeah. Everyone has a story, you know. That's <laughs> the cool part. I've been into so many weird situations and basements and attics, and I almost got the deal done, and then the brother walks. You know, the basement guy <laughs> living yeah. in the parents' house. Yeah, well, that's mine. You can't sell that. And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but, yeah, I should someday I should write a book. But Yeah. Now the pickers have made it all uh, pretty ubiquitous. But I've been doing that for a long time, going out to people's houses and stuff. Not picking through piles of V8 engines like they do, but <laughs> you know, I've been, since back in before eBay, I used to run an ad in the Washington Post, Old Toys Wanted, and I'd end up out in West Virginia. I'd end up in all sorts of weird neighborhoods. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, and get some good stuff that way. Because cool. before, e before eBay, no one... That was the great equalizer. You know, everybody knows what stuff's worth now. But yeah. back then it was kind of a secret. So you take you took advantage of that a little bit, but and I've heard people um, you know, anything comes out like Star Wars these days and they're like, Oh, I gotta get it, it'll be worth something these days but yeah. The reason why the old stuff's worth something is because no one knew it was worth anything. Right. <laughs> and it got thrown away and Finite um, numbers were made, and then like, Disney bought Star Wars a few years ago, and now it's just they flushed the market. Yeah, original stuff will always be good, but yeah, new stuff I don't know. Me and my brother probably had the most expensive bonfire ever when we got grew out of our Star Wars toys. We lit them all on fire in one last fucking Star Wars battle. Oh my! <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was some expensive flames. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> They were all beat up from us playing with them and stuff. So you, you don't collect Star Wars stuff at all? No, I actually hate Star Wars. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll sell it. I'll yeah. buy it and sell it, but I hate it. I did, didn't like the movies, and I'm just one of those guys. <laughs> the original Boba Fett... Um, Prototype figure just sold for eighty six thousand dollars at Hank's auction. Are you serious? I yeah. had that one. You had to send away fucking proof of purchase for it. So we had to fire oh, the missile. Yeah, but this was like, like a prototype. prototype. Oh, okay. But still, eighty six thousand dollars. Oh my god, that's sick. Seems like it'd be pretty easy to fake something like this. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Some good robots over here too. 
I got this as an old blanket cube from an old Macy's store that closed down. Oh, really? 100 bucks. <laughs> no way. I had to take it apart and put it back together. Oh, God. But again, this is a good one here. So Craig's an astronaut. Looks like he's taking no prisoners. He's got his space gun. <laughs> not like Kirk Hammett from Metallica. I have to earn all these toys. I don't have any rock star money. <laughs> I like this car. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a good one. I bought that one when my daddy died and he left me some dough. I'm like, thanks, Pops. I've always <laughs> wanted that toy. It's got the cool-looking Japanese guy driving it. So how much would something like that have cost? Yeah, I, paid, I think I paid 1200 for him. Wow. <laughs> this is an original helmet from the Space Patrol TV show. That's probably the rarest toy down here. Original oh, really? TV prop. Holy smokes. Yeah. The paper, newspapers on the inside, you can read 1952, 1951. Is it like paper mache yeah, or something? It's literally made out of paper mache. No way. They actually used an actual pa uh, Space Patrol uh, plastic. Uh, communicator toy for the <laughs> panel on it. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. These we, They call these skirted robots <laughs> for obvious reasons. Yeah. Cool. This is like a... Let me get her, get her to work. This is like a... A naughty version of the operation game. <laughs> oh, you have to go around, and if you touch it, oh, I don't know if I can make her work. Oh. Nope, not gonna work. Uh. Oh, <laughs> Oh, don't touch me there. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Oh, don't touch me there. <laughs> oh, don't touch me there. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I'll touch you where I want to touch you, baby. <laughs> Yeah, this is like 1947 Sandpail Robot by Wolverine <laughs> Toys. It's hard to believe that that didn't get wrecked in some beach somewhere. Yeah. And then this, to me, is like the old... I love spa old space helmets. A lot of companies would make toys at Christmas time, and this is like probably one of these companies. But, like, just... That oh, thing wow. is beyond... I mean, the design and the execution. It yeah. lights up. I get these heads from my daughter's friends that work that, that do cosmetology. Oh yeah. Yeah. They they bring them by in the bag full. <laughs> oh sweet. So yeah, <laughs> perfect for displaying my my space helmets and such on. Fun stuff, man. It keeps me sane. It keeps me young. It keeps me happy. <laughs> I've been collecting so long, but it's still like every day. This morning I was up at early and out at the flea market. There's like 10 people set up in a freezing cold parking lot, but it's just like you got to go. If you don't go, you don't know. That's yeah. what I always say. You got to check it out. And, yeah, you might and miss that one thing. You might miss that one thing, so... That's cool. You know, it's hard, it's, I, I, it's hard to imagine another hobby that would... That, that, would have the legs that it's had for me yeah and it's 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 like you sell stuff and you buy stuff and it's just this i call it the big food chain you know like where do you buy the toy on the food chain you 50 dollar toy you buy it at 30 you make make a few bucks if you buy it at 50 or you buy it at 75 if you want to keep it but it's all just a big it's all just a big cycle of, of <laughs> life there must there must be an adrenaline rush when you've been looking for something for oh, so yeah. long, and then all of a sudden you get a line on oh, it, yeah. and then closing the deal. Yeah, like this this monster's paint set, it showed up on eBay at like 4 a.m. 
And I have a couple of these guys I know that just sit up all night. Oh, yeah. yeah, waiting for those stupid people to buy it now. They put that on, buy it now, $39.95. $39.95, buy it now. Wow. So then oh, my, my buddy God. bought it up the food chain a ways, and then I bought from him up the food chain a ways, but it's still a long way. I paid a long way from what it's really worth. Wow. I mean, there's hardly any of those known to exist. It's just a handful. Yeah. It's, it's funny you post that on Instagram and you get like three or four hundred likes. Oh yeah. But then you post like a a Wendy's Where's the Beef headband on the card and get like seven hundred <laughs> likes. It's like people don't know what you're fucking looking at. Yeah. So I actually yelled at him on this post. I said, "You fucks don't know rare when you see it." And some other guy was like, "Yeah, they don't know rare. That's really rare." I was actually not usually confrontational on to my Instagram followers, but come on, 200 likes on that. Oh yeah. Are you insane? Jeez. Yeah, some great stuff. Well, thank you very much for taking us Absolutely. on this tour. Absolutely. It's fun to show it off. Oh yeah. Otherwise, uh, why haven't? It's a, people, a lot of people have heard about this room and it's probably the the first uh, chance that anyone will have to see it, like cool. other than your friends. <laughs> nice. Awesome. So I appreciate it. Thank You're you. You're welcome.